Hi, this is Kirk and Eric with the Sorensen Media Series, pushing you further down the path to video encoding bliss. Today, we explore the watermark filter. Ah, uh, Kirk, you know I like to watermark my territory. <laughs> in this case, it's my videos. And when it's as easy as it is in Squeeze, you kind of just want to watermark everything. I get that. Primal, isn't it? Yeah, check it out. The watermark may well be one of the most used filters in all of Squeeze. To jumpstart it, I can add any image file that I have sitting around on my computer. Okay, so I see you've added the Sorensen Bloom. Marking that territory, indeed. Oh, I'm just getting started. Look at these options. I can take the watermark capabilities to the next level. Choosing how big or small to scale, where to place the mark, and how much opacity and feathering to introduce. Kirk, why don't you explain the difference between opacity and feathering? You're expecting me to wax poetic after you've marked the bloom? <laughs> well, my hopes were too high. I'll just go ahead and squeeze it and let my video be watermarked appropriately. Just that easy. Again, squeeze, a darn useful every single gosh darn day tool. Once again, this has been Kirk and Eric with the Sorensen Media Series. Happy squeezing, everyone.